Hi, Susan. Hi, Linda. Welcome back. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Um, I'm loving this summer weather. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It is. It fried some petunias I had put in, but they, they're, they're trying to come back. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I can't. I'm. I'm trying to. I'm trying to um, admit Joanne, and um, uh, I can't. Hang on for a second. She won't. I can't. Joanne. Oh yeah, there she is. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh oh, I'm so in the dark again. I'm sorry. I can't help it. Well, we can't really see you. I can wave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it? Uh, oh, yeah, maybe it's because you have um, a, a light. You no, know, it's the, the, the light source internally isn't strong enough. Oh, I could see you just better. Just a moment. No, I have I have a standing lamp, but I can't move it. <laughs> oh, closer. All right. Well, you're in you're like, you know, in in silhouette. <laughs> um, Linda, you're not visible to me. Oh, I forgot to turn my video on. Oh, thank you. There. There you are. Here comes Janice. Hi, Janice. Just rushing to get here after doing something oh. strange. So. Oh. <laughs> so I have an iced tea and a chocolate, a little bit of chocolate. Oh, good. Oh, good. Well, we if my blood sugar crashes, I can take care of myself. Susan Millinger's not here yet, so um, we got yeah. you can breathe, please. <sighs> here she comes. Hang on for a second. Um. Um. Apparently, apparently, oh, here she comes. I, I saw some emails from Elizabeth Fernandez O'Brien and, but she found the link. So ah, there she is. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Linda. Hi. I'm Hello. glad you found the link. I'm sorry. I just saw your email asking for it. That's OK. I figured out there's too much light this way. I figured out I should go to the website. Oh, good. OK. So Joanne, shall I go ahead and? Please. OK. Um, so. Susan Millinger, are you ready? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to call this meeting of the Council on Aging to order at 4.03 p.m. And we'll just go around and say who's here um, for the record and because we have a guest. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm Linda Ava Scott. I'm Joanne Bernhardt in the dark. <laughs> uh, Susan Gomberg on the phone. Janice Gray. Susan Millinger. Elizabeth Fernandez O'Brien, guest from Village Neighbors. Yeah. Welcome. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you for joining us, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So our first order of business is to consider the 5-11-22 meeting minutes. I have a question. Yeah. 
I got an email from Susan saying there, there were revised minutes, but there was no attachment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dear. Same Sorry about here. that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm wondering if so, wait. they're not, there are main, minor, I'm sorry, Linda, go ahead. Well, because we haven't been able to review the revision. There are two very small revisions and one is a further question of what was already the question in there. Very, very small revisions. Okay, so. Well, since your question hasn't been answered, should we, um, should we approve the minutes next time? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Can we table that until that, that one question gets answered? Um, so I, I can tell you that your, your, uh, you had a question about the numbers, which, 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 which um, we can talk about, I, I can't, it, it's too detailed to go into at the moment. Um, anyway, I, I would feel better seeing the revision if, if, if every, if everybody else is okay, you know. I was going to suggest that when I didn't see the attachment, just because we have so little time tonight. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Sorry, Susan, okay. Susan, that you put a lot of time into these. And, um, but if you can send us all the revision and then um, I can go over the financial piece with you subsequently. That would be fine. Okay, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, um, all right, so, um, the next is our financial update, <laughs> which, um, you know, gets perplexing as we go along, um, but, uh, and, and so based on the current financial numbers from the accountant's expense report, effective 531, um, the balance in our grant account is $3,132.71. I'm sorry, could you run those back yep. again? $3,132.71. Um, and I'm gonna say that to help us get a real sense of what where we are. I'm going to ask Gail for basically what is called the condition of accounts or condition on accounts, which will give us, you know, like a checkbook um, entry of everything that we have paid for this fiscal year. So I'll be able to um, at our next meeting give up give um, end of fiscal year summary of everything and we'll have a sense of where our ending fiscal year balance is. Um, you know, been doing the best we can going along, but that will, that'll detail us, um, um, you know, so we'll really know what we spent on the foot clinic and exercise classes, et cetera. Sounds like a good idea, Linda. Okay, okay, so we'll do that. Um, now, you all saw the email from Marianne um, with an additional request for the first quarter of FY23. Um, thoughts? If you want to take it up tonight, if not, I let her know that we have a short time frame tonight. Um, Elizabeth, so you know we're limited to um, just under an hour tonight because the broadband committee meeting is at five and we're out of our usual second Wednesday slot. So we, we just have a, that one window, mm -hmm. um, that little window. Susan Millinger. I have not seen uh, Marianne's email. I've been out for the afternoon. I just got back three okay. minutes ago. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh, Janice? No, that explains why she didn't, Susan didn't see my email asking about yeah. that attachment. Yeah, yeah, yes. Um, 
and it is for FY23, and we're still in FY22. I mean, there's that. Um, uh, uh, Linda, this is Joanne. I, I, I really would like for us to look at your year-end figures before no. we commit. Okay. Um, because if if this is for one quarter and there are three, well, there are three quarters, not counting summer, yeah. um, at the same rate, this would take quite a chunk out of the money that we have. Yeah, okay. Yes, okay, before deciding. All right, I'll let Marianne, if everybody's agreed, I'll let Marianne know that we're gonna wait until July. We, um, we need to do that. Um, I, Janice okay. concurs. Okay, great, okay. Um, Albert concurs. Okay, thanks, thanks everybody. Um, we'll do that. Um, yeah, it feels um, better to have more clarity um, and be in the actual fiscal year. <laughs> um, okay, so I'll let Marianne know. Um, then, um, I have a little input on that. Yes, yes. And that is that that might be what she's asking for to tide over until she gets her other grants. So Joanne's comment, it may not be um, as reaching deep, deep into your pockets for each quarter. Well, actually, actually yes, yeah, she specifies what li the library portion can pay for, or, um, Elizabeth, to answer your question. Yeah, yeah, she's um, asking if the total for the first quarter of FY23 is $3,000. $55, the library portion being $1,555, and the COA, she's asking for $1,500. Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah, so. Okay, and so um, our most significant item is talking about the Gazette. So would you, I put that next, if you want to take, do you want to take that up? now yes. um, we also have a you know brief foot clinic update and training and resources and janice has a um a, a bit of a report for us on a training she went to susan i would sort of like to hear from our guest before we go on into regular business yes so that our guest is okay. free to leave rather than to listen to us go through our regular business <laughs> and not knowing why she's here it's a big surprise <laughs> my tie susan, in that's what i'm going to be talking about too Thank you, Susan. That's really nice of you. Um, I have a little laundry list. Um, and the first uh, overarching question is how can Village Neighbors and Council on Aging collaborate even more? Mm -hmm. Some of those details are Franklin, Franklin Regional Transit Authority. Um, another is the home food program that LifePath is advertising. And if you have information on that and you want to email me instead of talk about it, that would be fine so that we could start that conversation. Um, that came out from Newer at LifePath recently. Um, the other part of my list includes, uh, we have asked LifePath for a tour you know how they give us pamphlets and we hand it out, but we don't have events right now. <laughs> and um, so I've asked for a curated retour of the Life Path services, website, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And I would be happy to collaborate by sharing that when it does come out um, with you folks. That's my list. Oh. I, I guess maybe also I'm supposed to see if the renewal of funds that can go to village neighbors can happen. But you can discuss that without me if you want to. Okay, um, thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, so, okay, um, how would folks like to um, uh, engage regarding um, Elizabeth's um, list of how we might collaborate more. Um, 
Hi, this is Joanne speaking. Um, I think I think that we definitely want to collaborate more. Um, and we were, you know, we we've been in our cocoons for a long time. So I think we're now trying to look at at what we can do and how we can help each other and get information out to people. So um, I think we're all for finding ways to work with you. Um, specifically, I think you have a wonderful newsletter that you put out. Uh, is, is that a paper copy or is that an uh, online or? It can be either. So you can tell me which one you want and we can send you electronic or we can send you paper. I think, I mean, I do, I do look at the electronic one. Um, and is that right. because you're a village neighbor member or because you're the council on aging address that we send it to? I'm on the council on aging. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Do you need it in uh, another format? No, no, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we, what we're going to talk about in a few minutes is the council on aging newsletter that goes out the Gazette. And I think we've all wondered a little bit how we might collaborate with um, information, you know, that goes out so that we're not confusing people with duplication, but that we're getting the message out to the people who need it. So that that would be one thing. What was your next thing, Elizabeth? Can I just say on that one, um, if yes. you give me an email address, I will, if or if I can send it to the Council on Aging email, I will give you the person to whom I send out the notices, send the notices to um, after I've edited them. So we have we have shared responsibility with that and we send it out to our constant contact list. And um, just so you have that information, I'll send it to you. Great, thank you. Sure. Uh, the second thing was, so the, the Life Path has sent out this farm to home food mm -hmm. delivery yep. yep we've received that and talked yep. about it started to talk about it yeah. right it's on so our website. If you could if you could just update me not now it could be in writing because i don't want to take a lot of your time if you would just update me on that um you know which person is taking the lead on it and what you've done so far um we're about to put it out on constant contact this friday so okay. um so Elizabeth, I can tell you that as Janice said, we, um, Janice, Janice, um, put information about the farm to home program on the COA website. We also sent out a town and ounce um, with information about how to contact um, the farm to home program uh, so that individuals in the community would be able to um, go direct. And if I can, this is Janice jumping in. Uh, one of the things we were talking about doing in the, in the upcoming Gazette is having a whole section on food, including that program. Wow, wonderful. But we haven't talked about the Gazette yet. So. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, just if you would just funnel information to me, I can respond. Does yeah, that work? Yeah, I mean, we don't, we don't have any other information than what you probably already have, Elizabeth. Okay. Um, you know, from Life Path, that's where we received the information. Great. Um, and again, you can, you know, at, as I said, Janice did put all of it on our website, as well as other um, nutrition program information. Okay. Yeah. I believe there's a, a phone number that people need to uh, yes. call. Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. yeah. But um, may I also add that if it's a farm to table kind of thing, um, or farm to home, um, it, the CSA state season is starting now, and it would be really important to get this information out to as many people as possible in an early fashion, because we may not get our Gazette out for a while yet. So yeah. it, I think it would be important to get the news out now. So that will follow, that, that's congruent with what we were hoping, which is to put it out on Friday. Wonderful. Go for it. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. You know, uh, speaking of websites, it comes to the third thing, which is the tour of Life Path via Zoom. Mm -hmm. um, and what I'm learning not only from uh, our local, but also uh, the, the um, concern that statewide villages have, and I meet with them once a month 
it'll be this Thursday, is the fact that people don't go to our websites because they're 60 and over and they're not used to touring around. And so um, if you wanna consider get, giving a tour of your website, um, we're going to be giving one of ours. We're going to give one of the Massachusetts AARP. We want to get one from LifePath. So we want to give tours to people so that they feel more comfortable opening a tab, asking a question, giving a donation, whatever it is. So if you want to consider that. Thank you. OK. And the last thing on my laundry list is money. Right. Um, <laughs> so. Um, as you heard, you know, we'll, we'll be reviewing our finances end of fiscal year and beginning of new fiscal year during our July meeting. We did make, we did make a commitment um, in January, I forget which year, um, during the pandemic mm -hmm. to uh, contribute $500 annually to Village Neighbors. Awesome. And what I'm recalling is that that fact was paid last fall. Yeah. Yes, we we made our donation in September of 20. So we're not we're not behind. Right. We're correct. No. No. <laughs> we're just trying to stay on top of it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, so that's 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 what we've made a commitment to do, um, okay. and and it is in recognition of the fact that Village Neighbors is able to do much more than we are able to do as a volunteer council. And we really appreciate um, the work that Village Neighbors is doing. Oh, well, you're entirely welcome. And, you know, it, like they said at the Life Path Conference, we're three legs of the same stool, Council on Aging, Village Neighbors, Life Path. So yeah. working together. Yeah. Um, and then the final thing, which I didn't mention before, which is, let's think about having a um, collaborative event. And that's a wide open statement. Okay, okay. so future agenda? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the last thing is that, um, and then I'll get out of your hair. Um, Jeanette Stockton has agreed to alternate with me. Okay. She's also on the board. She's our present president, and she's also on public relations. She's a member of that. Okay. okay. That's great. Thank you. Sure. All right. Okay. So the then. rest of your meeting, and thank you so much for take letting me don't, take the time. Hang in your on. Tour. Don't go yet. I have a question. Okay. Sorry. My question is: I thought you mentioned Franklin County Regional Transit Authority on your list. Oh, you know what? That was on the other page. Thank you, Susan, for bringing that up. Mm. Franklin Regional Transit Authority. And I think it was supposed to be the select board or something that was supposed to do it. Do you have any information? Regarding what? Because, oh, very quickly, the history is that we were part of it. And then we aren't, and now we have to get re-approved. And it would be free, I believe, for a year. And then the cost for a ride for one of um, the member town participants in, on the member towns would be something like $3 for a ride inside the county. Uh -huh. um, and it's a really easy, do you know about this service at all? Mm -hmm. Well, I know that um, we've not been part of it. Um, yeah for okay. as long as uh, I'm aware of. Um, and so I know there've been surveys. I know that we as individuals have participated in surveys, um, but um, other than that, Elizabeth, we, I think I can speak for us as a council. We aren't aware of any action activity on the front of you know, services to Shootsbury from FRTA. Okay, once again, that was Jeanette going to follow up on it. So I will ask her to email you mm -hmm. with the information so that we're all on the same page. That'd be great. So great. that we, if, if uh, Susan, Melinda? Elizabeth, when you say we, what, what does we mean? In you talked a lot about we in connection with the transit authority. And I didn't know whether you meant village neighbors, whether you meant a certain collection of towns. What is we? Franklin, I don't, I think I can answer it. 
Franklin Regional Transit Authority has an agreement with two of the towns of village neighbors. Shutesbury does not have an agreement with them yet. They're very eager to do that. So when I say we, I think I was coming from village neighbors perspective. Does that help, Susan? Or town of Shutesbury. Um, which towns, um, Elizabeth? Wendell and New Salem have it. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, Leverett is topsy-turvy in their response. <laughs> Is it PVTA? Is it FRTA? And we haven't sorted that out yet. And we're letting the select board or town administrator, whatever. And I believe that this service could be available that the select board has to vote on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is this is the service where basically you are taking seniors places. This is strictly for seniors, or is this general population? Thanks for asking. It's for people who are differently abled as well as people who are seniors. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's in county. Mm -hmm. And you, if you need a ride outside of county that you pay more, but you get it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so yes, it'll be great for um, if Jeanette is able to send us the information. So we'll have it. So when it goes to the select board, we'll be prepared. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Agreed, everybody? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yep. Thank you, Susan Millinger, for remembering that item. <laughs> yeah. Well, I did write it down. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else I can have a conversation with you about, or shall I move out? Because I know your time is limited. I'm um, just going to jump in really fast. But I, I'm later going to talk about one of these um, uh, focus groups or yeah, I guess that's what I called it, that Noor had following a survey and I went to one last week and uh, village neighbors came up. There were several people from Leverett there at the meeting and a woman from Leiden was very interested in the village neighbors model. So I sent her to your website, just so you know, you might be hearing from Leiden. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's all. And when is that survey result coming out? I don't know. I. I don't want to get into the weeds on that until we get to that part of the meeting, but I was hoping Noor would say something and he didn't. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. Oh, Susan, yeah. Still. yeah, I'm, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I still have another question, Elizabeth. Um, okay. When you were talking about being interested in collaboration, cooperation between the two bodies, um, I, what exactly did you have in mind? I hear the possibility of a collaborative event. I also hear that we were we were asking about possible collaboration of news, perhaps, to be explored. But were, did you have other things in mind as possible collaborative events? No, I think information sharing is part of that. So the FRTA info sharing, mm -hmm. um, Janice sharing with me about the Life Path um, survey, those kinds of things is you know, sharing back and forth. But other than that, you know, if if you want to brainstorm a little bit further, we could do that. Uh, that's as far as we've gotten. Okay, thanks. Yeah, Thank that's, you. that's helpful. Thank you, Elizabeth. And please, please feel free to stay. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. And we're really happy that you um, made time to join us today. Really, it's, it's something that we've, um, you know, really wished for and so thanks yeah happy to do it um i'm glad we're alternating because i taking on another job in village neighbors is a little hard but we'll figure it out okay great great thank you thank you so in the interest of time um let's we i you know we we do want to make sure that we have time to hear from janice um um and but let's see if we can spend, whew, um, let's try to spend no, maybe if we can, 15, you know, like 12, maybe 15 minutes on the Gizet. That'll mm -hmm. still give us a few minutes for Janice and a brief foot clinic update. Okay, Gizet. <laughs> Um, Susan M., did you hear back from Sally? Did not, and I realized I should have called her. 
when I didn't get a response? Maybe Linda did. Well, we we um, we spoke at uh, annual town meeting with with um, Sally, and at that point, Sally said that Wednesdays do not work for her. Mm -hmm. Um, and we know we because we said we, our next meeting is at four, and then we said we usually meet at five thirty. And she said Wednesdays don't work for her. Um, so that's the um, report on Sally. Um, this is Joanne. I thought um, Sally had said she might like be interested in writing articles, but not in doing layout. That's true. That, that's correct. And when we approached her about coming and joining us, so that we'd um, talk about articles. Mm -hmm. um, that was her response. Um, and Janice? No, I'm just conferring that, you know, it, it was, that is correct, that I would do the layout. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank okay. you. <laughs> but I don't know if we can do anything with the Gazette tonight if without talking to Sally. Well, I'll say that I had a little brainstorm and um, Joanne and I, when we were going over the agenda, um, talked a little bit about it. I mean, one idea, and we can think about this, is that um, the, I'm just going to make a suggestion that possibly three or, or so, maybe four of us, not Janice, um, would pick a topic and write a little bit about it. Um, uh, as a, you know, as a, as a way to start moving it would it preclude Sally from writing something that she feels inspired to write like she used to interview someone um but you know on some of the topical matters um you know you know one of us could write the text for like the food programs or you know um, I don't, I don't know, but that was just a thought um, on how to start us, start the wheels um, moving. Mm -hmm. um, Janice? I have just had a brainstorm. Mm -hmm. if Sally is willing to interview someone. It might be nice to interview our new police chief with her ideas, with the, some, some of the programs she's wanting to implement. That's super, yeah. Uh, Elizabeth, she did the Sanford Seniors program. Which is so great. Yeah. Yeah. And she had other ideas. So and now she's official. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Yeah. So my so this is Joanne. My question is how can we generate a list of topics um, and have people uh, tell us which ones they would want to do? Um, I'm the the open meeting law and the email thread, Linda. I'm not sure how that would work with something like this. Right, so we, we, we'd have to, you know, figure it out um, in the meeting, possibly, you know. Uh, Susan Millinger? Well, I was going to suggest, since Jan Joanne was just talking about generating a list of topics, I mean, it's very clear that Sally likes to write. She's doing a lot of time with writing nowadays, and I'm wondering if we could just generate a list of topics and give it to Sally and mm -hmm. offer to provide her any information she needed. That would be another... A, a mm -hmm. It'd be another way to go. Or we could ask her which topics she would like to write on if that would, you know, be easier for her to do. Yeah. Sure. But we could so, still provide her a list and then see right. what she thought. Yeah. And Janice, uh, did you say that you had left some things out of the R Town because we didn't yes. have enough space? Yeah. Okay. So there's there's something there already. Yep. Um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and I was wondering, because Kevin Rudin was was so great about um, he, he's been such a champion of trying to help people with with property taxes, um, if he could do if he or we could do a concise update on what that topic where, where that's at now, because he had a lot of things at the end of town meeting that I didn't um, hear the results of. OK. All right. Wow. So we've got some ideas. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, I'd be happy to ask Kevin if he'd be willing to write a concise um, article. Okay. Um, would would um, and and we uh, so we've got the idea of an interview um, with um, Chief Burgess. Mm -hmm. um, our 
And I mean, there's the, the inform, some of the information from our website um, mm -hmm. would, would be included. Mm -hmm. I, I also know we just got a thing, which I have not yet put on the website about I, I, an email that was forwarded to us from somewhere by you guys about um, openings at some senior housing place in Greenfield, maybe it was, I can't remember. That was I have not Sunderland. put that up there, but that mm -hmm. could go in there. That was in yeah, Sunderland. That's Sunderland and the due date for the application is the end of June. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I better get it on the website then, but that's the only way I can get anything out. Right. Yep. Yep. Um, so we had also the um, the food programs, mm -hmm. of which there are several. Um, I was wondering about Triad because um, having just borrowed some medical equipment from Triad, it would be good to refresh people's memory on the fact that you can get loans of medical equipment. Oh, that's an article I did years ago. I know, I know. <laughs> Maybe you can dig it out. Maybe it's yeah, I could yeah. here. <laughs> Just update it. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's the bit about Valley Eye Radio. Mm -hmm. Susan M. Well, I was thinking that it's really not going to be the end of the world if we repeat things that Village Neighbors has said in its newsletter because we have partly because renew, re, repeating helps people learn things and also because we, do, we don't have the same mailing lists. Mm -hmm. So I don't think the fact that Village Neighbors is going to have an article on the food programs rules us out doing the same thing when oh, we yeah. help oh, the right. Gazette. Right. No, not at all. Yeah, not yeah. at all. Yep. Yep. Um, so the, the, um, the question I think at this point is um, having someone liaise with Sally. I'd be happy to liaise with Sally. Would you? Yeah, thank yeah. you, Susan. But I do need to be told what COA wants me to do, ask Sally about. Okay, well, so far, um, Help me everybody. So far, we have a suggestion for an interview with Police Chief Burgess. Mm -hmm. And that could wait till later. So, so all those things that you've just been listing are to be on the list that goes to Sally to see if she's interested in writing on any of them? They're, they're just ideas that we're putting out there and she they're, can they're, respond they're, to them. They're ideas and, and things like the, the food program and Valley Eye Radio, we, we already have content on our website so that can easily be just cut and paste cut and pasted right so sally doesn't need to worry about those i have the valley i radio bit janice has her old article on triad so it's mm -hmm. um, i think i would like to put a link to village neighbors too um yeah yeah we can we can do that and then in the gazette that's right yeah mm -hmm. yeah we can't yeah. do it online but we can in visit yeah, never mind. Yes, and um, yeah, so we, it's, so really at this point, it seems like the main, um, the main piece that Sally, um, if she's interested, would be interviewing someone and we have the suggestion of Chief Burgess. Mm -hmm. It might, it might work out to be helpful to have somebody interview Kevin because I, I worry about Kevin's idea of concise. <laughs> okay. He has an awful lot of information and naturally he wants to give it all, mm -hmm. but it's, it's too much information for us to include in an issue of the Gazette unless it's really condensed. In fact- Okay, hmm. I'm, I'm comfortable with asking him Okay. I'm um, a very simple, straightforward, two paragraph, okay. um, mm -hmm. succinct description of how people, you know, where they go, can go and who they can ask questions of. So okay, that sounds good. If they don't good. have web, web, they can call and okay. um, get printed documents to fill out. He, um, he was very good doing that for, for our website, actually. He was yes, concise, he, more concise than I expected. Yep. Okay. Yeah. 
so more concise I than I've been. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say much, but he he was cutting out stuff that he thought might be too confusing, wasn't necessary. So good. Yes, so I, I'll be happy to work with him on that. Um, and yeah, and then the other piece is that um, graciously Joanne um, has agreed to work on the, once we get the list um, of folks 55 and older from Grace, then um, I'm gonna I'll make a, sec, a second copy and Joanne will start working on the spreadsheet and figure out how to share it with me so we can somehow magically make it happen. Good, good. That's wonderful, Joanne. Mm. It'll take us a bit, but we'll take us a bit, right. I'm I'm volunteering my husband for some tech support on this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um Do we feel, uh, oh, um, Susan Millinger, I mean, Susan Gomberg, how are you over there? Uh, doing good, taking it all in, thank you. Okay, okay. Do, do um, we have any time frame that we need to have on pursuing these things? What are the deadlines? What, when's the next Our Town coming out? Um, Probably late September or October. Okay, that's what, do you have a note coming out? Does Village Neighbors have something coming out soon? Our next newsletter is July. Let me just think. Um, I have to. I'll have to look it up. I think it was. It's every two months. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think we were thinking maybe we have a goal of August. Did we? Mm -hmm. Am I imagining that? I, I no, think no, that's in the minutes. July okay. or August. Is what okay. we talked about. Thank mm -hmm. you, Susan. Um, yes, so that will give us Joanne and I time to get the 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 mailing list together, which is you know that's going to be you know a project. Um, mm -hmm. So we'll you know maybe we'll so we'll proceed. We'll we'll maybe we'll have if if, if everybody send whoever has things, which which Janice already has the triad for herself. I'll send. You the do you still have the Valley Eye Radio bit, Janice? That's on the website too. Okay, all right. So that's good, and um, I'll work with Kevin. Susan Millinger is going to work with um, Sally. So maybe um, we might have um, like a something by our July meeting to mm -hmm. you know maybe depending. If not, we'll have it. We'll think maybe we have an extra meeting to just talk about these at. We'll just see. Mm -hmm. This is Susan M. Would you like me to ask Sally to have it to us by our July meeting? A draft of an interview? What if, if, she could? if she can? Yeah. I mean, our next meeting is the 13th of July. Elizabeth? Joanne, in answer to your question, the deadline for getting things in our newsletter is June 19th and it comes out July 1st. Okay. And then, Septem <laughs> and then September 1st. Okay, good. That's Thank you. So, so August, August would be ideal. August is good, yeah. Okay. All right, so we've got, you know, we're it's time to move on if, if you're all okay with that. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so um, anything foot clinic wise, Susan G, any scoop? Um, no, nothing. Um, and unless, uh, unless any, unless there's any more news about um, having us back in town hall. Um, you know, I think that's what people are waiting for, but right now, nothing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's been a while since I asked Becky when I asked her a bit ago. 
I'll put it this way. If we're talking about it, another wave is coming. Yeah. So we'll yes. stay the course if we're all good with that. Okay. Um, and did, did someone raise their hand? No, I just was wondering. Um, I, I know we, we ordered, I think you can get eight more COVID tests. Maybe um, both village neighbors and we would like to repeat that. For people who may not have been aware that you can get free COVID tests in the mail. Good idea. Thank you. Um, okay, so, all right, Janice. Oh, <laughs> well, basically I went to this focus group. There's not much to say. I'm not gonna take too much time. It was the uh, age, age, age friendly fit focus group of on June eighth. It was turns out it was the second one they had. Um, so, some of the people are on Zoom, some were in person. I went in person. Uh, most of the people represented uh, councils on aging, or they were from a senior center. Uh, there were a couple of guys, I think, from Deerfield's Highway Department who was like the senior center. It really wasn't much of a focus group. I, it was. Not much to say. Uh, there were two interns from UMass who were going to tra transcribe it, and Noor will send us that. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything new. Uh, what I did say to Noor was uh, the, the people in the room were all people like us. And if I, to me, a focus group would have other people in it, like, um, like some of the folks who come to came to us saying we can't afford to live anymore, you know, that kind of thing. And that we needed to get more advanced notice. I mentioned we were having a Gazette coming out at some point. And if he, and he would say, he said, yeah, that's a great idea. I haven't heard anything. Um, so not, not much to, to report, except kind of interesting. I don't know what we do with this. Uh, someone, maybe it was Meg Ryan or the, no, there was someone from the AARP there uh, who said that there's a movement, and I think we've talked about this or heard it, to move away from the, the language of elderly and elder and senior citizens to talk about older adults, um, to try to change the mindset of what elderly looks like. <laughs> and um, th that's about it. And then the idea of having programs for veterans of all ages came up, memory cafes, we've talked about all that before. That's when I mentioned something about village neighbors and other people were mentioning village neighbors. And that's when Leiden said, oh, we would love something like that. So that's all I have to say. <laughs> when I get stuff from Noor, I'll send it out. Okay. Joanne, did you have something? I don't. Okay. Uh, Susan Millinger. Um, did we not just get a new email from Noor about yeah. another meter meeting coming? And it sounded as though it was set up as an on person, in-person meeting? Yeah, about LGBTQ, L they wanna hear from LGBTQ elders who are over 60. And oh, I don't okay. know how we get that information out yeah. quickly, except on the website. Yeah, I just sent it around to everybody just in case in that anyone has any interest um, in, in going. Um, it's... And it's on the 27th, I think, because again, yeah. there wasn't much notice. Yeah. No. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, that's... Um, okay, so that's is this intended as a focus group for LGBTQ? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'll I'll just check everybody did their training. Yep, I think <laughs> okay. I got something, but I they didn't send it to me. I had to print it out myself. Is that what happened with you, Susan? You said you had your yep. certificate. Yeah, oh. I had to print mine too. Yep. Oh, good. Okay. I, I, and it looks funny like mine does. Good. Okay. I thought yeah. I'd done something wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're, so we're, so for the record, Susan Millinger, um, yes. we each successfully completed our LGBT aging in Massachusetts course. Okay. That's the five of, of us. We don't know about Melissa. Yes. Yeah, and I don't know, but but we are, you know, we, we all did what we, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
the five of us. This is a training, um, Elizabeth, that um, all um, councils and senior centers were asked to complete by the end of June. Great. Yeah. Um, we just put up um, an LGBTQ plus um, rainbow logo on our um, website. And feel free to steal it if you wanna put it up on your website. Um, it was suggested by an East Coast Massachusetts village and he gave a great, excuse me, they gave a great presentation. Um, and it was about LGBTQ and seniors and that kind of thing. And I could try and get a recording of that if you're interested, but um, yeah, feel free to take a copy mm -hmm. of the logo. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Our training was excellent, I thought. Oh. Mm -hmm. It was. Yeah. Okay. Um, so our next meeting is July 13th and um, we'll meet at our regular time, 5.30, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And um, did we forget anything? S Susan G? Uh, no, nothing, thank you. Okay, you, your, your little box lit up, so I wondered if you had something. Oh, I, I stood up. <laughs> oh. I, don't know why, I don't know why that triggered it. <laughs> Um, is there anything else that anybody can think of at the moment? I know we covered a lot in a short period of time. Oh, um, us getting resworn in, those of us who are due. Yes, so um, the select board, thank you. That's a great question, Janice. The select board will be entertaining all the reappointments during their G June 21st meeting. Because okay. that was one of the questions Susan was asking, Susan M was asking. Yeah. I didn't know the answer to that. Yeah. Okay. And, and so then, you know, everybody um, will receive a letter subsequently regarding their reappointment Thank um, you. and to come in and see, you know, somehow connect with Grace to get yourself, you know, resworn in. Okay, so we I'm not going to be in town on the 21st, but we don't necessarily have to be at this oh. theory at this select board meeting. No, no, Susan, that's a great question. No, no. Um, the select board reviews, there's a, um, an official list of appointed officials, and um, they will review that list um, and all the appointment reappointments and any new appointments you know, it's kind of a process, they, you know, but all the reappointments are generally done on the last meeting, it's last select board meeting in June. And, um, and then the letters go out subsequently. Yeah. Susan. So I can say in the notes that the five of us are, are hoping to be reappointed or mm -hmm. asked to be reappointed, I shouldn't say anything. Yeah. Um, just as I oh you I sent you an email earlier today um, and we have three year terms and they're and they're um, staggered right so at this point it's um, Joanne Janice and yourself okay for some reason your your terms are um, expiring at the same time um, mine is until is uh, 2023 and Susan Gomberg's is 2024. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and Melissa's is up also, um, but she hasn't responded to my request to um, what, what she wants to do. So I should just mention the three of us. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So does anyone have anything else or shall we make a motion to adjourn? Sounds good. Okay. All right. Well, so moved. 544.53 p.m. I make a motion we adjourn. Mrs. Gomberg, I second. Okay. Bernhard, aye. Okay. Gomberg, aye. Gray, aye. Illinger, aye. And Scott, aye.
Okay, thanks everybody. And um, yeah, we'll be, you know, on the 13th. Okay. okay, thanks Elizabeth for coming. Bye everybody. Bye. 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 Good night. Thank you.